You know the only real way to get her to stop is to tell her the truth. Man, you really want to tell her? I tell her everything. Mm, not everything. <laughs> is it that obvious? Not to her. But how long have you known for her? <laughs> I have watched you be in love with Iris since you were old enough to know what love is. <laughs> and I've been waiting years for you to tell her. But you haven't. Because that was too slow. Hmm. <laughs> now she's happy and with someone else, so... When the universe wants to make something happen, whether it be giving a young man lightning speed or putting two people together, it has a way of figuring those things out. I've just been dealing with a lot of things lately. I like you, Linda, and we really get along. Relationships should be more than just getting along. Your heart should ache for me. Does it? You're not upset with me. No one did anything wrong. I really do feel a lot for you, Linda. It's just... Just not as much as you feel for someone else. Go get her. Ever since the very beginning, there's been three people in this relationship. You, me, and Barry. That is not true. You can deny it all you want. But Barry knows it. Joe knows it. And if I'm gonna be completely honest with myself, I knew. I always knew. I guess I just thought I could love you enough to change things. Is that because of Eddie? Or because of Barry? I've noticed the way you've been looking at him recently. Is it that obvious? Only to a woman who's been through the same thing. He lied to me about who he really is for nine months. Mm. I can't shake it. I thought it was gonna be something special like what you have with Iris. That is off track. I'm sorry. I asked her to marry me. You did? That's great. I've been meaning to ask you, where's your shadow? What shadow? Barry. He hasn't been in all week. Getting his fix somewhere else. Too bad. He's cute. I kind of miss having him around. I can't let you lose this stuff here. You're the one who taught me that. You have to keep moving. You have to push through. You have to find a way. You have to fight. So that nothing will ever hold you back, Barry. It's only took Caitlin and I know you lost your seat, but everyone is here to help. My dad, Cisco, Harry, me. Barry seemed a little odd today. Pretty sure he wasn't psyched that came by. You ever think maybe maybe he might like you? <laughs> what? No. Friends don't give friends wedding bands. He was... He wasn't proposing to me, silly. He and I are just best friends. Mom! Holy crap! You just threw yourself off a building to save Dad? Yeah. It's beyond shui. You're crazy. I am. Thank you. I love you. I love you. Iris is there a lot. <laughs> Iris? She's, um, his... something. Oh. Sure. Good. That's just swell. 
Barry's in a coma. He's already moved on. Before you came in, Dom would just saying that we need but to really... Iris was able to tell that something was off with Barry? No, not exactly. Oh, totally. I mean, it was like lover's intuition. That's how you can tell these two... You know, Felicity, to um, uh, there's something very strange going on here. So I wouldn't take this uh, as a commentary on you and Oliver's marriage. Even with Iris? Iris, you're my son. You don't think I know how you love her? But you never pursued her. Because you were too consumed with what happened to me and your mom to let yourself have a life. Well, let it go now, Barry. Hear me now. The man in the yellow suit. He's taken enough from us already. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. The, uh, the, the girl that I've seen at Jitters. It's the girl you've been stalking for the last three uh, months? I, I have not been stalking her. <laughs> I've been working up the courage to ask her out. And? And I did. <gasps> and she said yes. <gasps> oh! oh this girl just got the best guy. <laughs> okay. Vows? No. No. And we can't do better than them. Iris seems very nice and really pretty, like, super pretty. Congratulations. But Iris isn't my girlfriend. She's just a friend who actually has a boyfriend. Oh, that's interesting. You remember when you told me you had a little experience liking somebody who didn't see you the same way? That was Iris, right? How did you know? It's the little things. The way you linger on her when she isn't looking. The smile you fake to play the part. The quiet dreams you keep to yourself. I should definitely be the last person pleading Eddie's case, but I, I don't get it, Joe. Why did you say no? Because if Eddie proposes to Iris, she's gonna get caught up in the moment and the romance, and she's gonna say yes. What's wrong with that? Again, I, I don't know why I'm saying this. Because one day she's gonna wake up and realize she married the wrong guy. But she'll stay anyway because she made a promise. I don't want that kind of life for her, or him. She's got feelings for you, Barry. She may not know how to deal with those feelings right now, but I know her. They're there. Always have been. My baby girl. <laughs> I've grown into a beautiful woman. You're marrying the best man I know. <laughs> you too. Bring me nothing but joy. I'm so happy for you. Okay. Iris, whatever you may be feeling right now about Barry, that man does love you. That, that kind of love is rare. Waste of a life, waste of a man, and oh no, you don't even get the girl. What are you talking about? Observe, if you will, the byline. Barry marries Iris, and not you. We're just gonna have to give this ring back to Grandma Agnes. You, Eddie, won't be needing it. Having a bad day, Bear? Oh. If it isn't the future, Mrs. Allen. Barry told me not to listen to anything you say. That's just bad advice. For the longest time, I have been happy just to be dad to these two. And then Wally comes along, and then watching them face what they have in the last few years with grace and trust and love, so much love. You see two people who Love like that? And you want it, too. Oh, I'm in the speech. <laughs> yes, you are. So, Barry, Iris, thank you for showing me how to love again. For showing me that love is the most important thing we have. I love you guys. I realized that sooner. <laughs> I had to make a break before it later came around. So let me guess. 
Being at the rehearsal dinner for the world's most perfect couple is probably the last place that you want to be. You just won't stay dead. Come to save your little fangirl? Iris West Allen, I know badassery when I see it, and that was raw, unrefined, cage-free, non-GMO badassery right uh, there. You don't have a building. For me. Yeah, I guess I kind of did. What was going through your mind? Uh, please, God, don't let me drop this key. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, weren't you afraid? You're not a speedster. No, I'm not. But my husband and my partner and my best friend is. OK. This cuteness right here, I cannot. But... Thank you. I don't know if I have ever met two people who are more suited to one another than you two. To Barry and Iris. Barry and Iris. To Barry and Iris. Barry and Iris. To us. To us. You love weddings. I really do. That's cool. Actually. And I don't know, I just feel like this is going to be one for the ages. I'm really happy I got to see it. Have we met? No, no, I'm no. a complete and total stranger. Good, I... good, good luck up there. Just remember to say I do. Right. Spit it out or I'm gonna step onto that ship and pretend like this conversation never happened. Iris. Oi, girlfriend. Fiance. Mazel tov. What about her? If you don't help me, she's gonna die. True love. That's your pitch. That's all I've got. And I assume saving your girlfriend requires us doing something less than lawful. We need to break into Argus and steal an alien power source. The Flash, a thief. It's my kind of mission. One condition. My rule. Hello, Joe, Cisco, Iris. Of the ice, sparkling. Captain Cold. Make the plan, execute the plan, expect the plan to go off the rails, throw away the plan. Follow my lead and you'll be fine. I'm trusting you. We all are. Just don't sit me at the singles table at the wedding reception. Just out of curiosity. I love the flash. What? Oh, you, Mary Allen, yeah, with the zoop zoop and <laughs> defy the physics laws and gravity, always with so much style and grace, yeah. Thanks, man. Das Kinder Flash, child of the flash. What you see, you have your father's moral fiber, yeah, and your mother's smarts and classic beauty. Oh, my God, <laughs> stop. You, are welcome. you know what, no, 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 don't, don't. Yes, I think you will miss Iris. That's right, Mr. Allen. I didn't just take Dominic's body, I took his ability. When your dad was about 10, uh, there was a kid in his class that lost his folks. Kid stopped smiling, barely spoke. And for some reason, all of the other kids in school were being so mean to him. So your father had lunch with this boy every single day for a whole year. And when springtime came and the yearbook came out, your father gave the kid an entire page and the photos of his science fair project made him most likely to succeed. And then the boy finally smiled. But dad wasn't in your book. The story wasn't about dad, was it? It was about mom helping dad.